everybody, I am the Lizzie Kiwi and today we are going to be doing another one of my Witch Townie has the best genetics challenges, but this time it's gonna be just a little bit weird because we're gonna be using some odd townies. So for example, we are going to be using the one and only Daddy Winter as he is best known. We are also going to be using the one and only Grim Reaper as well as the Scarecrow, which yes, it is technically an object, but <laughs> If you really want to, you can turn him into your true love. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. And as you can probably tell down here, I've done this once before, but for some reason, it the recording just stopped. So I do not have that footage anymore. So I still want to do this video. I could have just decided to stop and not even post anything today, but I am going to, I am determined to get this video out for you guys. So instead, I thought it would be fun to show you guys what we did the first time and then try to do something different for the second try. So this was the baby between our main sim, Edith here that I've shown in the beginning. This is also the sim we're going to be doing this with again so this is the mother and then the father for this baby was father winter so that's how this baby turned out the first time i'm interested in seeing how it's going to be the second time then we made a baby with the grim reaper and this is how that baby turned out and i absolutely love love the style of this i thought it was so cool and fun and then last but not least this is the baby that we had with the scarecrow so i am really interested in seeing how similar these will be but yeah i think we're just gonna delete them for now and then we will get straight into trying this one more time. Now if you've never seen this challenge before, basically all we do is we have our sim that I made and we're using these townies to make babies with the sim to see kind of just which baby turns out the best. And I am going to start this off with infants and also all of them are going to be girls because girls are just so much more fun for me to decorate. So I am gonna randomize this probably around three times and then we're just gonna use the baby that we have on the third roll. So that does mean that this is the baby that we are going to be working with. Already like the hair being blonde is a lot different than the first baby, but I am just gonna go ahead and immediately age this baby up into a young adult so that we can just get straight into it. So this is what we're gonna be working with and the hair immediately just changed back to silver so I guess the hair is not as different but we do have a blue eyes this time instead of brown which is interesting. Then I'm just quickly gonna do the skin details off camera because this is pretty tedious. It does take me the longest time to do this so instead I'm just going to do the skin details in just a millisecond like this and this is kind of what we ended up with after I've done that. The face is very similar to the first one which is quite interesting. I think a few things obviously are different but it is pretty much like you could tell that they would be siblings. So I think for this one I'm gonna go for more of a snow theme rather than like a Christmas theme. So that is kind of the vibes that I want to go for this one. For the previous one we had like these, I'll show you guys when we get to the earrings, but it was these kind of like candy cane earrings. But this time I want to go for the snowflake earrings that I saw. And I really like this hair on this sim. I feel like it's so, so beautiful. So we're gonna go for this one. And then let me, let me just get the earrings. You guys are gonna love this. So these are the candy cane ones that we used for the previous sim. But these are the ones that I want to use for this sim, which, oh my gosh, they're kind of hidden with the, like the hair. But as you can see, they're cute, cute little snowflakes. I love it so much. It's adorable. As for the outfit, I do still want to keep it pretty much wintery, but instead of red and white, we're maybe gonna go for more blues and whites, stuff like that. Oh, or we can maybe go for a little bit of blues and blacks, because I really love how this is looking. And I mean, the hair is pretty much white, so I feel like it kind of balances it out a bit. We can, of course, also add like these white socks. They have little hearts on them, which I think is really cute. I feel like adding these shoes kind of make it a little bit more casual, which I do like, because this in itself is kind of 
of formal. And then with the previous sim, I couldn't use these nails. I really, really wanted to use them, but they were glitching with her outfit. So hopefully, looking at this, there is no glitching whatsoever, which makes me so happy that I can actually use them now. So yeah, that is everything that we have for this first sim. I wanted to add a necklace, but it just does not work with this turtleneck. So we're just gonna not add one. I do still think it looks really, really nice. So I am now gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side -side of the previous sim and this new sim. And you guys are gonna have to tell me which of these two do you guys like better. Personally, I have no idea which one I would choose. I love them both so much, so it is up to you guys to decide. But we do still have two more sims that we need to make a baby with. So we are gonna go ahead and make a baby with the Grim Reaper now. I am going to go ahead and just skip all of the randomizations because as you can tell, it takes such a long time to randomize. So we're just gonna skip through that to get to this final baby number three. And then we're just gonna go ahead and immediately age them up into a young adult because this also takes a really long time for them to go from infant to young adult. But I am just so curious to see. This is the baby we're gonna be working with again. Pretty much kind of similar to the other one. I mean, it is the same mother and father for all of them. So it does make sense that you can see that this one does pretty much look like a sibling to the other one, which is so interesting. I love seeing that. It's so cool. But I am, again, just going to quickly do the skin details and in a second, it'll be all done. And this is kind of what we ended up with. I really, really think it's it's so similar to the first one, we can kind of go more or less in the opposite direction and go for something much more light and colorful, well not colorful, very much white colors. I feel like that would also be interesting. So this time the sim does have a black hair instead of red hair like the previous one. And I do think that's pretty cute, but maybe we can try to make it a little bit more interesting. I do, however, really want to try to maybe see if we can add some white elements into the hair so like probably something like this could be really cool so now instead of all of the dark and spooky colors we can maybe go for much more light and airy colors and this top i was going to use this top for the previous sim but now I feel like this fits so much better with this one. It looks almost like ethereal. It looks so, so beautiful. I think it works so well with this. I can go like full out and add one of these, but I'm not too sure. Okay, well, this is cute. This, this can really work. I, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, listen, like I know it's kind of easy to go for a matching set, but is this not just the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Because it sure is for me. Me. And I love it. I think it's adorable and I really want to keep this. We can definitely do something like this. I feel like it's so different from the first one, which is fun because I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. So instead, we kind of do something quite like this, which is pretty much the opposite of the first one. I think this turned out so, so pretty. It's very angelic, very pure with all of the whites, and it's very much opposite of the Grim Reaper, but I will put up a side-by-side -side of the previous sim and this sim again so that you guys can see what the differences are and kind of which one is your favorite. Do let me know in the comments down below. But again, this is not the last sim that we have for today. We do still need to make another baby with the Scarecrow. Once again, I'm just gonna skip this genetics part because as you can probably tell by the frozen baby on the screen, it takes quite a while for them to regenerate into another random baby. I honestly don't know what the chances are because all of the babies I rolled previously, like the previous two, had red hair. This is the first one that has brown hair between them and with the previous sim, the baby also had red hair. So I don't know what the chances are for that, but this baby does have brown hair and this is going to be the baby that we're going to be working with for this sim. So this is the baby between the scarecrow and our sim. Second try, of course. So I'm just going to take off everything that this sim currently has on again. It's gotta be a blank slate, people. But I 
am again just gonna do the skin details real quick so that we don't have to wait for a long time. This is what I ended up with with this sim. This time the sim is quite different than the previous sim that I made for the scarecrow. So it's quite interesting to me. I really don't know how the genetics work in this game sometimes. Sometimes I really think it's pretty much just random. But I am really happy with how this sim is turning out so far. Oh, I should probably do the makeup first. So if the previous sim we went very much like equestrian, I think that's what I think it's an equestrian, like the horse rancher type style. This time I want to maybe go more farmer style, like more nature-y. And I feel like this hair is going to be perfect for it. It's giving very much like this cutesy vibe, which I love. And we can add this little bow in the back. So I am absolutely sold on this hair. I think it's so pretty. And then for the outfit, I'm definitely thinking like a cutesy dress could work. Maybe even this one could work, but I will go through through a sea, maybe if there's something else that's really cute. Oh my gosh, this? This is very much the vibe that I want to go for. This is so pretty. <gasps> Oh, and this one, the green, I don't know what that is, but I love it. I think I'm gonna go for this one. I can definitely also see this with maybe like something like this. It's not very much cottage core, but it is really pretty. Like, look at this. This is nice. This is kind of giving me like a really nice vibe. I really want to go for this. I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I want to try something different with this. Some pretty shoes to top it all off. I'm going for like these little flats because <laughs> I feel like that's really cute with an outfit like this it could really be so sweet and simple so this is kind of the final product i think she turned out so so cute it's very much a different vibe than the first one so i will put up a before and after again so that we can see how this one turned out as well again i don't know which one is my favorite i love them both so so much so it is up to you to choose which one of all of these was your favorite and which one just of the first or the second was your favorite for today because I had a lot of fun with this. Oh, and also, of course, which random weird townie do you think makes the best babies? In my opinion, I personally think that Grum makes the best babies, but that is just my opinion, so you guys need to tell me which of these you like the best, but definitely do like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody!